Going back up there, I forgot to mention that the Ducks Red Wings game is your other three point bonus game. Right out loud. I know. It's all that sun. Look at look at all the sun I've had today. <laughs> Good thing this is the vlog edition, huh? I know, right? Us rookies here today. Jeez. We're in our own little world. We are. Well, I have Kurt Bush this week. Oh, I have Kyle Bush this week. Oh okay. Kyle. Go, Kurt! Bring me a W, even though you never win. <laughs> Have faith in you, Kyle. He's got me twice now. Yep, he sure does. Um, do get to some info here. Info? Yes. Oh. We're, we're, we're really not with it today, Tim. You know what I forgot to do? What did you forget to do? Trivia. <laughs> I mean, I I literally don't have trivia for anybody this week, so sorry, blog. Uh, right, let's see, what can I come up with on the spot like this? Well, you you look up some some stuff here while I'm uh, going over all the stuff I've got. So I've got a few things. Oh boy, uh, former Detroit Lions wide receiver Titus Young was arrested not once but twice in a 15 hour span Sunday according to Riverside County, California authorities. Uh, Young was pulled over at 12.01 a.m. Sunday in Southern California after making an illegal left turn according to police report. Young was then arrested for suspicion of driving under the influence booked by uh, the police uh, blah, 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 and later released. At 2.22 p.m. that same afternoon, officers responded to a local tow yard after a man was seen climbing over a fence. The man turned out to be Yun who said he was looking for his impounded black Mustang. Yun was then arrested for burglary and booked again at the same detention center. There you go, Titus. Yep. You should have stayed with the Lions. Uh, not at this rate. We don't want him. Yeah, this is true. Um, once again, I'm not a LeBron James fan, but LeBron James has won his second, or his fourth, I'm sorry, his fourth MVP award. Uh, James, 28, becomes the youngest player in NBA history to win four MVPs after receiving 120 out of 121 first place votes by league media members and analysts. I'd like to know who that one person who didn't vote for him was. That guy's my hero. <laughs> I'm just curious about that. Who it was, who was the yeah. one person? And where were they from? I want to know who they voted for. <laughs> it would be funny if they voted for somebody like like uh, Jeremy Lin or something, or or uh, you know some somebody you know not real big or something. So, but oh well. well either, I'm just not a hundred percent convinced. He is the greatest player of this time. I'm just not convinced of that. I'm not either. I I mean you have. Uh, Kobe Bryant, um, you, you just have a lot of other guys that I think are just as good. So, but he's got all the hype. So, I think that's part of it. Yeah, for me, it, he's got all the hype. You know, mm -hmm. everybody knows him. So I don't, in my opinion, I don't necessarily think he is the best player in the league. I don't know, all around best player in the league. Yep. Um, well, let's for another time. Yeah. Uh, I, I I need facts. I need my facts to compare. You know who's better right now. I'm drawing brain farts on other uh, NBA players who are you know just as good, if not better, than LeBron James. Um, going to the NFL news, we have Jacksonville Jaguar fans are petitioning to bring Tim Tebow to Jacksonville. Uh, 
petition aiming for 100,000 signatures in support of bringing Tebow to Jacksonville. Uh, the Jaguar Jim's GM says he has no intention of bringing Tim Tebow to Jacksonville. Uh, and then, this this was just today, an ad by an Orlando lawyer received... Uh, uh, apparently some lawyer has put out an ad uh, pushing for the Jacksonville Jaguars to sign Tim Tebow, too. So there's ads, there's petitions, but... Uh, the, the GM still says no, that they're not going to bring Tebow. All right, you got your computer. You can look up this information. Who is their current quarterback? Who, are they quarterbackless at the moment? Who's their quarterback? Yeah, do they not have one at the moment? Um, Why do they want Tebow so bad? They want the hype of Tebow. I mean, I know. Um, I know Tebow really doesn't want to go anywhere without having a starting I really don't even understand why, and in my opinion, I don't even know why the Jets signed him for that one-year deal. Yeah, I don't either. I don't. That that one didn't make sense to me because they already. Know, as far as I'm concerned, they already had Sanchez, so that didn't really make sense. Um, let's see. Again, yeah. that could be a discussion for another <laughs> president. <laughs> we have so many topics we can. Come on, open it up. Yeah, we will, and we will eventually. Um, okay. This is Jacksonville Jaguars roster for 2013. There's Blaine Gabbert. I don't know who that is. Chad Henney. Jordan. Oh, really? Yep. I forgot they had Chad Henney. Yep. Jordan Rogers. Matt Scott. And that's it. So it doesn't sound like they really have any real big names. And out quarterback at the moment. Yeah. Uh, doesn't really sound like they have anybody, so I don't know. Sounds like it's a good fit, you know. I mean, you don't have a quarterback. Oh, hey, here you go, Chad Henney, you know. And well, we'll see what the... Uh in the city can do. I mean, obviously, if they can get a strong enough thing going, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's going to work. I don't. I think the 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 general manager, from what I'm hearing, has pretty much put his foot down, and saying, "No, I'm not signing Tim Tebow." Um, so, uh, Detroit Red Wings forward Justin Ablicator received a two-game suspension for his hit on Anaheim's Tony Lidman. The NHL announced Sunday, Ablicator hit Lindman 15-11 into the second period of the Ducks' Game 3 win, appearing to leave his feet and making contact with Lindman's head. Ablicator received a five-minute charging major and a game misconduct. The suspension means Ablicator must miss Game 4 and 5 of the first round playoff series between the Red Wings and the Ducks. So... The slow... And the still motion picture they got of him, it sure looks like he's putting a big knee drop on somebody. <laughs> yeah, he, he left his feet. It's the right call. Interesting fact, in the NHL, the guy who decides the suspensions is Brendan Shanahan, a former huh. former Red Wings. <laughs> that must have been a little weird for uh, good old Shanny there to drop down a suspension on a, on a Red Wing player, so... Um, but yes, it was it was the right decision to sp suspend him. Um, Justin Ablicator did say, though, in an interview, that he his intentions weren't to uh, injure someone that just got caught up in the moment. So um, he's not a real dirty player. So um, I don't. I really didn't even say he was a dirty player or anything. I just oh, I know. You know I was, was just like one big knee drop. <laughs> I was just throwing that in there. Um, and then in pro wrestling news, Dolph Ziggler suffered a concussion on SmackDown's taping Tuesday. Unclear how did this he really? he did. Uh, unclear how this will affect the triple threat match at Extreme Rules. Not sure what will. No, cool. sorry, finish first. Oh, I'm done. Oh, now are we sure this is a true concussion? Because you know, remember, uh, John Cena supposedly, you know. 
for his, his ligaments in his leg. Yeah. And that just ended up being a very bad sprain or bruise. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, he has a, he has a, I I would think that this is accurate. I at least I hope it is. Um, concussion, man. Well, we know what that did to uh, old Bret Hart there. Yep. Yep. Um. So they're not really. They're. I mean, they're putting it through the protocol. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, at least I, I. At least I hope that. That Who was facing, by the way? Uh, there's news. Dolph Ziggler's concussion. Hang on a second here. Pulling the article up right now. Uh, Dolph Ziggler suffers a concussion. Tuesday night SmackDown taping at NC State when he interfered in Big E Langston's bout with Jack Swagger. According oh, to... So According to WWE uh, physician Dr. Michael Sampson Ziegler was injured during the early part of the what ruckus ruckus maybe I guess I don't know it looks like a typo after a blow to the face a post match examination by WWE medical staff confirmed the injury. He was having some memory difficulties and a bit of a headache. He definitely has a concussion. Oh. Uh, we're checking him out and going to be doing uh, neuropsychological tests and just keep it monitoring. Though clinically Ziegler's concussion was confirmed, the tests should yield results within the next couple of days. We'll provide WWE medical officials with a baseline from which to monitor the show off uh, progress at the past time, check back uh, Ziggler's condition. That's all it has currently oh. on it. So yeah, it sounds pretty serious actually. He could be <clears throat> out for a while. Yep, yep. Because I mean I, I I hope the WWE is taking concussions just as seriously as the NFL is. Um, I mean, realistically, he could end up having to forfeit the title. If 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 he is having this, uh, concussion-like symptoms still, I, I hope the WWE doesn't put him out there. It's not worth his well-being. Um, so. I don't think they'd be stupid enough to do that. I mean, they've had too much bad publicity over the years with a lot of stuff like that and, and other you know incidents that's happened I yeah. think they will take this very serious yep so but now I'm not a huge Dolph Ziggler fan but you know I don't want to see that kind of stuff happen to anybody so uh, yeah. you know, speedy recovery hope everything works out for him alright yep he's a young guy so <clears throat> well that's all I have um, about the only thing I saw about round and about today were uh, in NFL news, um, the Redskins owner has still been getting pressured about um, Washington Redskins' name at times, and they have said they have absolutely no intentions of ever, ever, and he said, go ahead and put this in quotations, ever changing the Redskins' name. So there you go. Washington Redskins plan to stay in the Washington Redskins forever, in quotations. Yep, as they should. And as, uh, as we all know, tomorrow is the spring game, Special Olympics, so I want to wish all the Olympians the best out there tomorrow. It's supposed to be a wet one, so everybody, uh, you know, have fun and enjoy your day. Make sure and to bring your uh, rain poncho. Yep, bring your rain poncho. Yep. Good luck to all the athletes. Although they have, they do have rain plans now. They are going to be in the Maryland Center and the Ice Arena for events for this rain. I might rain. get in a little trouble for saying this, but I'm just going to say it anyways. Shouldn't you already have some kind of rain contingency already in the works planned out? You know, like. 
it's raining Friday, we're either going to reschedule or we're going to move it inside. You don't, you don't, sorry, I'm just throwing that out there, I just. Yeah, I think there's a lot of new people getting involved with, uh, with the actual local games now, so apparently there must have been some major confusion on that because at the beginning of the week, beginning of the day, it was, the, contingen the contingency plan was basically they were going to cancel and reschedule. And then by the end of the day, good old Schoonover's letting us know that it's odd no matter what. So. <laughs> good job, Schoonover. That's where we'll be tomorrow. Well, good luck. Will do. Bye. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Have a great time at the Olympics. And uh, we will see you on the recap show. Oh, Bye. yeah. And the coach. I'm Jamie. And if you're not done with that. We got two words for you.